to Shot Nomination, the Creation Station. I'm your host, Sean. I want to get into a book review. Um, first book we'll be reviewing is going to be dun -dun -dun -dun, Star Wars. So uh, it's a big film out right now. Um, number one grossing film of all time as it stands this week. So I thought it would be better way to kick off the year and the new format of my channel than to do the book review. Um, I've got that and one other uh, book that I want to get into today and let's just go check it out. All right, thanks. All right guys, so let's get into it. Um, what we're looking at here is the art of Star Wars The Force Awakens. Um, if you haven't seen the film, you, you, the book is in no way, I think, a spoiler to the film. Um, preconceived notions of the book. Uh, when I first got it, I was thinking about getting it. I know myself, usually when you pick up these art books, um, they tend to have a lot of production stills. And uh, so it's almost like a visual guide of uh, the movie. And they're showing you clips and stuff. And sometimes you run into things you didn't want to see or information you didn't want to know. Um, I can absolutely say that is not the case with this book. Um, it is just chock full of pre-visual development goodness. Um, it is an awesome book. So let's uh, let's open it up and uh, get right into it. It's uh, hardbound. Uh, I think most of them, um, the copies now, are hardbound. Um, and uh, as you can tell from just you know, page one, I mean, you're getting a pretty quality book. Uh, a lot of pre-production stuff. See a nice shot of uh, the main villain, Kylo. And some early Vista stuff on what characters were going to look like uh, early on in the film. Um, that's mostly what this book is comprised of. It's just kind of early, uh, very early, early visual development stuff. And I mean, it's beautiful. The things within the book, I'm sorry about the glare um, on the page. They're just gorgeous. Um, you're getting concept sketches and paintings and matte paintings. Uh, this book is just chock full of awesome. Uh, like I said before, uh, it's well worth the price tag, which I believe is uh, 40 US dollars. Um, I found it for cheaper. I will post those links below um, as to where you can pick it up for a lot less. I, Amazon has it, Barnes and Nobles has it. Um, but again, I mean, dude, you are getting some really, really, really uh, cool, cool stuff. I mean, it's just an overall very, very well put together book. Um, and the content within it is just, it's first rate. I mean, you kind of, I, I know through looking through the book, I gained an appreciation for uh, just the love and the craft that these uh, these people put into this film. Um, I've seen it now like two times, and I would definitely go see it again, um, just because it, it, it was just that much fun. Um, if you haven't seen the movie, go see it for sure. And if you love uh, visual development and concept design, uh, buy the book. Um, if you love art and you know if video game art or movie production art and stuff like that, this needs to be in your collection. Um, it's a gorgeous, gorgeous book. Um, th the pages are huge, and the content is just it just goes on for days. Um, I don't want to give you too much, you know, but know that it's worth whatever the $40 it's worth that but again I will try to hook you up with a way to get the book into your hands for a little bit less um but again it's it's worth what they're asking 
um, probably the most awesome surprise I've found out of an art book based on a movie in a long time, which is rare because, like I said, most of the time it's a little bit of pre-visual stuff and then you get hit with production stills, which, I mean, they're cool, but that's not what artists want to see. So I can tell you, guarantee you that what this has, you will want. And uh, that wraps this one up. Thanks again for watching. Uh, like, subscribe below. This is a Sean Animation signing off from the Creation Station.